9 Psychological Triggers That Explain Why You Find Faults In Others Do you ever catch yourself nitpicking those around you, focusing on their flaws rather than their strengths? This habit, while common, can strain relationships and prevent genuine connections. But why do we do it? The reasons often run deeper than mere annoyance, rooted in our subconscious psychology. Let's dive into nine psychological triggers that explain why fault-finding happens and how you can break the cycle. 1. Confirmation Bias Seeing what you believe Confirmation bias causes us to seek out evidence that supports our pre-existing beliefs, often at the expense of reality. If you've formed a negative opinion of someone, your mind filters their actions through that lens, amplifying their faults and ignoring their virtues. For instance, a co-worker who occasionally makes mistakes might be unfairly branded as careless, even when they excel in other areas. This mental shortcut keeps us trapped in skewed perceptions. 2. Displacement. Redirecting emotions. When life's pressures mount, we sometimes redirect our frustrations onto safer targets. This defense mechanism, known as displacement, explains why you might lash out at a loved one after a stressful day at work. The real source of tension might be your demanding boss or tight deadlines, but instead of addressing those issues, fault-finding with others becomes an emotional outlet. 3. Projection. Seeing yourself in others. Projection occurs when we attribute our own insecurities or undesirable traits to those around us. For example, Someone who struggles with jealousy might accuse their partner of being overly possessive. By projecting their inner struggles onto others, they temporarily avoid confronting uncomfortable truths about themselves. 4. Reactive formations. Opposing your true feelings. Sometimes, our minds create exaggerated behaviors or attitudes that mask true feelings we aren't ready to confront. Known as reactive formations, this defense mechanism often results in hypocritical judgments. For example, someone raised in a strict environment might publicly criticize others for behaviors they secretly wish they could indulge in themselves. 5. Stereotyping. Reducing complexity. Stereotyping simplifies the complexity of individuals by categorizing them based on perceived group traits. This shortcut can lead to unfair fault-finding, as people are judged not on their actions but on preconceived notions. For example, attributing laziness to someone based solely on their socioeconomic status reflects more about societal biases than individual character. 6. Competition. Gaining an edge. In competitive environments, the urge to succeed can trigger fault-finding. Whether vying for a promotion at work or attention in social circles, identifying others' flaws might seem like a strategy to elevate yourself. However, this zero-sum mentality, where one person's success feels like a threat to your own, often damages relationships and creates unnecessary tension. 7. Low self-esteem. Building yourself up. Fault-finding can also stem from a desire to feel better about yourself. By highlighting other shortcomings, individuals with low self-esteem may seek a temporary boost to their own sense of worth. This behavior often manifests in gossip or criticism, where putting others down creates an illusion of superiority. 8. Cognitive Dissonance – Easing Inner Conflict Cognitive dissonance arises when our actions or beliefs contradict each other, creating psychological discomfort. To reconcile these conflicts, we may find faults in others to justify our own behaviors. For instance, someone engaging in unethical work practices might criticize a colleague's work ethic to distract from their own internal struggle. 9. Controlling behavior. Seeking order. For some, fault-finding is a way to assert control. Whether motivated by anxiety, perfectionism, or a need for authority, pointing out flaws in others creates a sense of dominance or order. While not always malicious, this behavior often alienates those on the receiving end, 
perfectionists, in particular, may fixate on trivial errors, straining personal and professional relationships. Final thoughts. Breaking the cycle. Fault-finding, while often rooted in subconscious triggers, can harm relationships and stifle personal growth. Recognizing these behaviors in yourself is the first step toward change. Instead of focusing on others' flaws, shift your perspective to empathy and understanding. If you find it challenging to break free from these habits, consider speaking with a therapist. They can help you uncover the underlying causes of your behavior and guide you toward healthier, more compassionate interactions. By addressing these psychological triggers, you can create deeper connections and foster more meaningful relationships. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.